Hi, I'm Willie and this is The Breslin and today we're going to be talking about my complex feelings surrounding the plant known as the Epiprinum pinnatum variegated elbow. I just butchered saying that like eight times. And there's a few special things about this plant that I just want to talk about. As you can see, it's pretty robust. We have some great variegation on some of the lower leaves and I think this one has a high probability for success. And one of the things I'm excited about is how different it is than anything else I've chosen to have in my collection. It's no secret, I'm super in love with pothos plants in general, but this one is kind of like the Cadillac. Are Cadillacs even cool? Maybe it's like a Maybach or Tesla. I like variegated plants. Also in my collection, I lack plants with any verticality. And although it may not look like it right now, this plant can grow very tall and get really huge leaves like the size of my head. Now, I've seen these splashed all around social media with very bold claims of saying that they are an aesthetic alternative to like a Thai constellation Monstera or a Monstera elbow. And I'm not chasing that dream with an analog, but I will admit that they do share a few of the same characteristics. At the moment, they're pretty affordable. I think they're only going to grow in popularity because pothos, in my estimation, don't die that easily. And who doesn't love that when you're buying a niche and rare house plant? And I think they're not quite as oversaturated in the market, which just taps into our psychology of being unique. But how unique? So this is technically a pothos, but it is a sister, not a twin, to most varieties that I know I'm used to seeing. So I did some research, and that means that we're all in trouble. It is a close relative to the Cebu Blue, which, to say I'm a big fan of, is an understatement. I feel like even the leaves look kind of similar. I can't wait to get it repotted. And I purchased a moss pole on Amazon to facilitate this plant's journey. Good moss poles I feel like are hard to find. I had to return two of them. I think the one I got is pretty good. And I'm excited to repot it in my favorite Divine Dev pots. So now I'm gonna run and get soil, moss, my moss pole, and some pebbles from my backyard. And then we're gonna get started. So here's the moss pole that I got on Amazon. I've already trimmed the spike to fit into my specific pot and we're gonna fill it up and let the good times roll. I went and stole these pebbles from my backyard and hopefully they're big enough so they don't fall through the mesh. And here's the sphagnum moss, which I'm gonna start soaking so I can pack the pole full. So I've been consciously letting this plant dry out a little bit because I knew that I wanted to unpack the roots and get it ready for its new pot and its new home. So let's do that now. Roots look healthy, plant looks lush. And also the soil mix that they used seems really good. So I didn't worry too much if some were left around the roots. And what this is gonna do is give us a protective layer so that the moss doesn't get too wet and start to rot and then in turn hurt the aerial roots of the plant. I'm also gonna go return this to my yard. Here's our moss. I squeezed probably 90% of the water out of this. I have this cooking chopstick that I'm just gonna use as an awl to push this moss towards the bottom. You wanna pack this in tight, but not too tight so that the roots have the ability to surround the mesh and get into the moss. The potty mix that I'm using today has a lot of orchid bark and perlite to encourage a lot of drainage and have a very airy feel, which I have found works wonders for keeping my pothos plants healthy. I want to make sure it's high enough so that our soil rests on these rocks.
the struggle is real. I had to run and get some more potting soil. This is an awkward pot. People that can talk while they're repotting stuff, it's like, I'm very impressed. I get so focused. So I'll keep this short and sweet. Rest assured, taking care of this plant's needs. All right, so here's my secret weapon, Velcro. Just make sure that nothing gets crunched. That looks really good. Well, all signs point to that going great. I am very excited to see how quickly this plant finds its legs and trails upward and upward and onward and into the sky like Jack and the Beanstalk. I think with the addition of the moss pole, this plant looks even bigger, more full, more lush, and more opulent. And what could be better I'm gonna keep a close eye on its moisture level. I'm gonna be watching as new leaves unfurl and making sure that my Velcro is positioned perfectly to help these leaves and their stems grow comfortably. I think it's happy. It's radiating good energy. If you get the opportunity to pick one of these up, I don't know, my trend forecasting brain says do it now because they're gonna be more expensive. I was perusing Etsy last night and they have one or two leaf cuttings of these selling for around $30, but I found this at my local nursery for only $24.99. Also be aware of your space requirements because I'm already scoping a corner where I'm going to place this thing so it can grow really tall. And it's worth mentioning that this is a bit of a challenge in my space because most of my furniture is extremely low. So that's about all I got concerning the Epiphanatum. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have one of these? Are you gonna get one of these? Do these excite you? They excited me. Thank you for sticking with me on this journey. I really enjoyed hanging out with you today and I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me as well. This is a very new channel. It's still finding its legs, but it is trucking along. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna hang out on the regular, please hit that subscribe button as well. I know that I do with you. You're the best, take care of yourself. I'm gonna be back so soon you won't even miss me. Okay, bye-bye. You wanna see whispers though? She just woke up from a nap. All right, so I'm going to temporarily place this on this table so it gets adequate light. And let's hope I can unveil some amazing plants, darling, very soon.